Hello, Toastmasters. We don't have guests, so I will say friends. I don't have tons of cash. I don't own a car. I don't live in a condominium. But if you were to ask me, I will tell you, my life has been truly blessed. I have been blessed because I have not had to experience the indignities and cruelties of war. I've not had to suffer crippling poverty. And I do not have to endure the loss and desperation of hope. I have been blessed by the powers that be that governs our life, that mystery. I often wondered what I could do to repay this mystery that governs our life for the blessings that I have received. And when I look at my son's sleeping form in the quiet of the night, in the stillness of the night, when my thoughts are calm and collected, and my heart filled to the brim with gratitude, I told myself, I need, I have to do something. <coughs> After prolonged thought, I decided, I'm going to be a virus. I'm not going to be a H1N1 or SARS virus. I'm going to be a cloth virus. I'm going to be an agent of infection to infect in your heart kindness, love, mercy, peace, and hope. Through my own efforts, I am nothing. My efforts by my individual self will be this small. It will be like that flower wilting and withering in the strong heat of summer. But imagine this, if I could really become this virus, plump virus, I could infect you. And by infecting you, you can infect him in turn. This is my power, my ability within my sphere of influence. I could infect the attributes, the payload of my virus, this clock, into each and every one of your parts. And it starts life with the one, me. But gradually, it will spread like wildfire. And that one will be legion. Just like the strains of a song, a single note, transforming itself into a chorus, a melodic chorus, that chorus becomes a, cross, a crushing crescendo of melodic harmony, <coughs> heavenly music, symphony. I cannot give you great gestures. <coughs> I am not one to go into stoccato of efforts, short bursts of energy and stuff. No. I will be like that virus that persists, like that piece of gum underneath your shoe. I will hang on to dear life. I will infect your life with this goodness. As a virus, the attributes is that the virus will evolve and for me, being that virus, it allows me the chance to improve. Because for those who know me, you know I'm not a perfect man. I try. <coughs> but being a virus is like my personification. I will improve, evolve. If I make a mistake here, I can change that, make it better. And this is why I want to be virus. Change it such that it will become pure. 
infects more and more people. As a clone virus, I want to inject sunlight into your heart. Sunlight that will disinfect you from feelings of prejudice, ignorance, and greed. That is my vision in being a clone virus. Through my own hands, as an individual, through my own efforts, my own resources, I will fall and falter. But reaching out virally, with this behavior, viral behavior, infecting and spreading that, I become more powerful. I become more than just myself. We would grow into the world's conscience. We would grow to spread goodness and kindness. There is a preacher by the name of John Bunyan. He's a Christian preacher. And he has this to say. You have not lived until you have done something for someone who can never repay you. Simply brilliant. Will I truly be that virus? Realistically speaking, no. But I can, from my personal actions, from my behavior, I hope to spread that feeling and emotion like this virus to the rest of the world. Toastmaster.